Word and Deed by Vladimir Lenin. We are constantly making the mistake in Russia of judging the slogans and tactics of a certain party or group, of judging its general trend by the intentions or motives that the group claims for itself. Such judgment is worthless. The road to hell, as was said long ago, is paved with good intentions. It is not a matter of intentions, motives, or words, but of the objective situation, independent of them, that determines the fate and significance of slogans, of tactics, or, in general, of the trend of a given party or group. Let us approach the analysis of the most important questions of the contemporary working class movement from that point of view. The strike in St. Petersburg on July 1st to 3rd involved over 62,000 workers, even according to the estimates of the bourgeois papers Rec and Ruskoye Slovo, which always give reduced figures in these cases. We are therefore faced with the fact that a mass over 60,000 strong went into action. As we know, the direct reason for the strike was to protest against the persecution of the working class press, the daily confiscation of newspapers, etc., etc. We also know from reports, even in such newspapers as Novoi Vremia, Rec, Srovomenka, and Ruskoye Slovo, that workers stressed in their speeches and in other ways the nationwide significance of the protest. How did the various classes of Russian society react to the event? What position did they adopt? We know that Russia, Zemshina, and similar papers printed the usual sharply con condemnatory statements, often accompanied by the crudest invective, threats, etc. There is nothing new in that. It is understandable. It is inevitable. Much newer is the amazing indifference of the bourgeoisie, as reflected in the indifference of the liberal newspapers. Furthermore, in many cases, this indifference changes to a negative attitude, whereas working class actions that were less important, numerically less significant 17 or 18 years ago, met with the obvious sympathy of liberal bourgeois society. Here, we undoubtedly have a decisive liberal turn to the right, away from democracy and against democracy. With reference to the events of July 1st to 3rd in St. Petersburg, one of the most widely circulated, if not the most widely circulated, newspapers in Russia, the liberal Ruskoye Slovo said, it is interesting to note the attitude to this strike on the part of the Social Democratic newspapers published in St. Petersburg. The Social Democratic Pravda devotes considerable space to yesterday's, written on July 3rd, strike. But the organ of the so-called liquidators group, the newspaper Luck, confines itself to a small note on the strike and devotes a leading article to political strikes in which the newspaper protests against such actions by the workers. Such are the facts, hostility on the part of the reactionaries, indifference and denial by the liberals and liquidators, unity of liberalism and liquida liquidationism indeed, unity of mass working class action possible only in the struggle against the liquidators. The proletariat cannot do its democratic duty serve as the advanced contingent, give service to, educate and consolidate the masses of the people, other than by a decisive struggle against the liquidators, who in fact are completely dependent on liberalism. The liberals too frequently play at being radicals from the Duma rostrum and do it as well as the various near Marxist or wavering elements. But that does not prevent the liberals from fighting with the aid of the liquidators, the democratic aspirations of the masses outside the Duma.